Hi, Pork here from Attitudes. Welcome to another Adobe After Effects tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be creating a very simple effect. Um, basically, a friend of mine once asked me to do something in After Effects. He wanted to do a video for his school, and he wanted a kind of a save electricity theme to the whole thing. So I thought about it for a while, and um, I came up with something that wasn't exactly like this, but it was something like this. I'll uh, make the screen a bit bigger. Um, I'll just bring that out actually and get to see the whole lot. I'll just do it again. So it was a torch light coming down, switch off your light, save electricity, and then I switch off at the end to finish. So um it's it's quite easy to do, it's a little bit fiddly, but you know, it's not gonna be a big deal to do. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to create a new composition. I'm going to call this comp. I'm going to call this light, and I'm using HD HD TV 720/25 with 1280 by 720, 25 frames a second. I'm on half resolution because uh, I'd say it's lag. Okay, we have a new composition. The first thing we're going to do is create a new solid. I right-clicked in the timeline there create a new solid and you can make this anything you like, it doesn't really matter okay, there's a solid now in effects and presets, I already have it typed in, type in ramp and drag the ramp onto the solid okay, and you get something like this now generally the kind of colour I'm going for um, is kind of a wally look I can't really describe that, but essentially it's like a look over yellow. Essentially, it's um kind of like a looking at a wall. I'll try that there, and you can make it any color you like, depending on what you want. But personally, that's that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. A bit bright. Okay. Okay. So you're going to take something like this. And right now I'm going to add text, um, so go new text. I'm using a new font, um, I bought a typograph font set, um, pretty cheap online, if you want to go check it out. It's a typograph pro, and it has loads of options here for ultralight and everything else, I'm using semi bold. And I'm going to just type something, let's say like, exclamation mark, pink. Okay, just, you know, could be anything. Okay, I'm gonna change the colour on that a bit darker. Okay, that's, that's, let me move it more, that's it. Okay, now, you can type in anything you like here. Okay, this is just a message, let's say that you're trying to get across, or an intro, whatever it is. I'm just doing this as a kind of a, to show what it's like, you know, to show what the best way to do it is. Okay, so we have our solid and we have our text and what we're going to do now is we're going to add a light so we go to layer new light okay uh, you can choose the color intensity I leave all that the same now you can go we will be going to spot for but for now just click point okay you see nothing happens here and that's because we need to make the text and the background 3d now you see the light takes effect, and we have a very nice contour in the background. So, uh, what we're going to do now is, we're going to change the light, go to the light settings, and, yeah, let's position, and I'm going to point and make it spot. Okay, and, and let me see, point of interest, I'm going to move the point of interest until I can see the cursor, this little this little point here, right here, okay, and I'm going to move the light as well, I'm going to drag it up, and you see there, I'm going to drag it into the middle a little bit more, middle of the text, not the middle of the actual composition, okay, that's about fine, 
Okay, now I'm going to grab a little kind of um, point of interest. This is basically where the spotlight is pointing at. And if you grab that and just take it off the screen. Okay? Like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the point of interest. We're going to click the timer for the point of interest on here. Okay, this little stopwatch beside it. Make sure that everything is off the screen. And then we're going to move forward. Hang on, I'm just going to uh, move forward about a second. Okay, just a little bit. It's too much, maybe. I'm just going to bring down the timeline. It's too long at the moment. Trim comp. Okay, that's better. So we're going to go forward to a second. Okay, and I'm going to scroll down a bit to get this. And now bring this down to about here. Okay, then move forward to two seconds and bring the point of interest down here. And then again, we're going to move forward to the halfway mark between two and four. Oops, and we're going to get the point of interest, bring it across either side, even kind of take the text out so you know you haven't had a chance to read the full text. And then at four seconds. We have the slider to 4 seconds, take the point of interest, and bring it down, maybe to, the, to about, it's just square, but not complete, we want that nice, kind of slow down effect, okay, and then bring, on the last one, bring it down to directly under the text, like this, you can even drag it down a little bit, okay. I'll move that in further. So now you see we have this kind of nice spotlight moving effect. And if I go back over to keyframes, you see we get this nice kind of searchlight effect, and then it returns the original. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Um, what you can do as well is you can highlight the as normal, highlight the keyframes, right click, um, oops, right click on the keyframes. I mean, keyframe assistant, and just do easy ease. Okay, just moves out the the movement of the light. So um, I mean that's that's the base effect done. Okay, so that's um, essentially the base effect done. I'm going to bring this down to 10 seconds. And comp. I'm going to do a quick preview if I can. I don't know how long or this would even work, but um, so the the point of this is is to kind of have a nice, clean, refreshing. Um, plate, you know, you have a ramp in the background which, when applied with light, looks really good. Um, simple text, you know, nothing 3D or you know, funny colors, just kind of match the colors. There we go, here's a preview now. See, and it kind of goes back and then stops. That's a nice effect. Now, what I'm going to do is at six seconds, right? I'm going to go to intensity for the light, which is here. I'm going to click it and then I'm going to move just a tad forward, next frame forward, I bring the intensity down to zero. Okay? Now what that's going to do is give it the, the light switch off effect. See? Boom. Okay? Now to coincide with this, I want... I'm going to move it directly over. I'm going to close the light properties, and I'm going to go into my project file. Now I have a WAV file here I got somewhere, I can't remember where. But, you know, if you go, go to the free and make sure you don't download, you know, stuff that doesn't belong to the people. You can get free WAV files and sound effects. And you're looking for something that sounds like a light switch. You don't want something that's tinny or anything else. You want a nice, solid click. Okay, so I'm going to bring this sound effect onto my composition. And I'm going to drag it up to the point where the start of the sound effect is. I'm going to bring my light back down. And there we can see the keyframes for just increase onto that. So there we see the keyframes for the light going on and off. Um, and I want to just I want it to be that as soon as the light goes off the sound effect plays. So I think just there. Okay. And I'm gonna scroll back normal view. And now if we do a round preview um Basically, you want the click for the light going off effect. You don't want the light to go off slowly, so put the two keyframes like 
you want to put the keyframe for intensity at 100% one frame one frame before the intensity at zero so it's like click off um, and then that way you get a like effect that the lights being switched off um, here we go let me try this out there you go and that's the effect and basically like that you know it has many uses if you're using you know, if you're using it for an intro, you can have your name instead of Tink, or you, you can have, you know, a logo appear instead of the text, things like that. It's just, I think it's a nice, clean, simple, you know, thing to do. And I think if, um, here we go again. There we go. So you hear the click, and the click is like a definitive click. It, it's not tinny, it's not kind of like repetitive it's just one simple click and that's what you want now what we can do as well after give it a few seconds for the light to be turned off and maybe go to eight seconds or something and if we create a new text layer right let's see new text and we're just going to type in um, let's say Um, save electricity. Okay, so I take that and I'm going to reduce the size, maybe a bit more. Okay, like that. And I'm going to grab this and just bring it, as I say, keep things clean, keep things simple. I'm just going to grab, grab this and put it here. And I'm going to remove the text. See, the save electricity will be on from the start of the frame. So we want to drag this till it's just about here. Okay. And if we can do a RAM preview again, um, what will happen is the light switch will click, the light will go off, and then just the message will just come on saying, you know, save electricity or whatever the message you want to come on. I think I, I personally think it's a nice little trick just for you know I think keep keeping things clean simple and you know keep keeping the color scheme together you have to have the text the same color there you go you saw it um here we go here's the preview so you see it stops there you hear the switch and then save electricity so I, I think it's a nice way of getting the message across if you want to get a message across to your you know viewers or if, you, if you're doing a presentation or something like that it's a very nice way of kind of you know everyone associates a light bulb and things like that with ideas and you know I think that for something like that it's going to be perfect well I hope it's been, I hope it's been of use to you and um, I'll have more tutorials coming soon I'm back active on attitudes again I was down for a while with sickness but I'm fine now and I have a few more tutorials already in the works and uh, yeah I hope this was helpful my name is Porik this is attitudes see you next time <laughs>